I was just reminiscing actually about my first fast and I remember being nine years old and I was begging my mom to do a fast. Shall we start talking straight away? <laughs> so she made me fast between lunch and dinner so I don't even know what I missed. I think I just forgoed my after school snack. And when I opened my fast at Iftar, I felt like such a champion. Absolutely. I think I was about eight, nine years old as well. And my dad would be screaming our names, Nadia, Nadia, no. wake up. <laughs> all wake up. We all sat down together. And it was just amazing just doing something collectively together. My mum would line us all up around the dining table and we would be making samosas. In your production line. <laughs> it was literally an assembly line. Although it is a beautiful, peaceful time, we have so many balls that we're constantly juggling. We need to take time out for our mental health. For me, warm oil in the hair, reading a book, and just switching off from the rest of the world. These are important rituals that my mum taught me, and I want to pass that on to my children. Don't forget about yourself in the process of looking after your family. You know, my mum always tells me about this Ramadan Noor. When you're fasting and you're praying and you're at peace, it's almost like this shine radiates through your body. Do you find that? Like, I feel like I have a Ramadan Noor when I... Absolutely, there's it light radiating. So who has the more Ramadan Noor? Uh, I would say that was me. I think it's me. Me, of course. You're wearing highlighter. My highlighter game is strong. <laughs> it's strong. All right, you know what? Hands down. Ramadan Noor. It is actually the month of charity, so... <laughs>